Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. We'll start off with the risk disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com. There's a 14-day trial uh, period that is free. It comes with education. Uh, there is the Bookmap educational course, as well as these advanced um, order flow webinars, which start in about a half hour. Uh, and uh, we go through the details in the order flow. So you will uh, you will learn not only about um, you know using Bookmap in order flow, but you're going to learn about order flow. Uh, and um, uh, Bookmap has a pretty unique way of uh, displaying a lot of market activity that uh, is is um, uh, really not uh, visible uh, with other platforms. So uh, we uncover that and we uh, explain a lot of that activity and really what's going on and how these markets actually operate. Uh, and uh, we'll go through some of that today, but uh, we're going to go through just basics on uh, uh, what Bookmap is and how to use it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to, to us at support at bookmap.com. So uh, let me show you Bookmap uh, or the website here. Okay, we'll click on Explore. It drops you down into this intro page here, our intro video. So uh, just a quick overview of what Bookmap is. And then just about Bookmap, uh, scroll through here about uh, the platform, its benefits. Uh, and um, as we continue on down, uh, there's Bookmap for equities. So it's not just for futures. Uh, we have a pretty uh, uh, powerful connection here to NASDAQ Total View. You can read about it here. And a bit further down, uh, connectivity, you will need one of these data providers uh, to connect Bookmap to the live markets. Okay, so uh, we, all, we also now offer multiple connectivity. So if you have CQG and Rhythmic, uh, you can connect to both at the same time. Uh, as well as uh, the dev experts here for the for the equities, okay. So uh, with that Nasdaq total view, uh, so uh, real uh, uh, nice offer uh, or nice feature to to allow that uh, multiple connectivity. Uh, so you can access uh, quite a few uh, number of markets. Okay, a bit further down, this is where you can find the uh, free trial under a free trial uh, link here. Uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. In general, there's just Bookmap Basic, but um, uh, the Advanced comes with other features, like the ability to trade from the chart, and then these proprietary indicators uh, that we developed and put together. Okay, So it goes through uh, reading the order flow in order book and balances, uh, which is um, uh, some of the transparency that you're going to get with Bookmap. So uh, getting indications uh, of those imbalances. Okay, as well as iceberg detector, large lot tracker. So also starting to identify not only the liquidity, but the players uh, that are um, uh, holding that liquidity. All right, if you need a data feed to go along with a free trial, you can click here. Uh, this will take you to a page that um, you can see, uh, you can get a, a demo of uh, you know one of these uh, data feeds here. Good stuff there. Uh, so uh, you get a completely uh, free 14-day trial period of Bookmap along with data. Uh, if you want more information on which one, which plan is the right one for you, you can uh, click here and you get a, a feature comparison list. Okay, some of our partners here and then uh, our support. All right. Let's see. Social media uh, at Bookmap underscore pro. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday, so uh, for those of you who are new in the room here, uh, this is coming out for a new version of Bookmap. Uh, the uh, heat map is going to be, um, there's the options for coloring, okay, you customize your, your coloring however you like, uh, to, to offer more insight to that liquidity, okay. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be great. Uh, it, it'll, this will come with a new um, version, uh, probably end of the year. Uh, maybe the beginning of uh, 2018, but um, uh, anyway, lots of different uh, exciting new features. Okay, uh, and uh, there's all sorts of content to um, uh, get into here as well with uh, our YouTube page. Okay, 
So uh, features and components, intro videos here, as well as order flow video snippets. Okay, if you want an understanding of uh, uh, some of the content that we cover in the advanced webinars, uh, you can watch some of these videos here, uh, and they give you an overview uh, of uh, some of that uh, some of that content. We just go through it in detail uh, in the uh, in the live order flow webinars. Okay, all right. Well, let's jump in and take a look at Bookmap. Ah, okay. Let's see here. Looks like I need to close down position. Okay. Okay. Actually, I ran this over last night, uh, uh, but uh, it's it's a demo. Um, let me. Okay. Let me go through a little bit of what we what we've been covering. All right. So. Um, uh, this is a, a little bit of what we've been covering in the live order flow analysis. We, we noticed uh, it was back here on Wednesday, a big player, right? Uh, we knew that uh, there was a big player in the market, okay? And uh, we were looking, uh, we noticed that, and uh, uh, we, uh, when that occurs, and Bookmap is, you know, it shows order flow, okay? But it's not just for scalping or for getting just a few points. Okay, we're looking at much bigger picture uh, stuff here, uh, and uh, we notice the the larger players um, uh, in this area around uh, 20 or 6306 um, starting to absorb uh, and get uh, get involved in the market on the buy side. Okay, and you can see what occurred here on this bigger picture. Okay, there were, the, it was a nice move up out of that area. We went sideways for a bit, a retest of the low in the overnight session, and then yesterday it was a trending day. Okay. And it trended to the upside, and it, it was reaching. This is what I'm going to cover in the uh, next uh, uh, in the advanced order flow um, webinar. It reached the uh, the target here of 6350. Okay, bigger players are absorbing a little bit above 6300, the figure, and a little bit below here. Okay, they absorbed all the way down, and they're covering on the way up here. And now you can see them. They're out of the market and probably reversed, and uh, uh, now they're on the on the on the sell side. Okay, so anyway, uh, good stuff there, uh, and uh, we're going to go through it in some detail. All right, um, then uh, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, what Bookmap is showing us. Okay, uh, let's see here. Oh no, that was another that was another market I was looking at. Never mind. Um, but uh, for for the Nasdaq, uh, yeah, that is the case here. Okay, so let's take a look at this um, and uh, what's going on here uh, in the NASDAQ. All right. Okay, for those of you who are new here, um, just want to show you the basics uh, of, of what uh, what's going on here in Bookmap. We have a, a subchart of volume here, okay? But what is this chart telling us, okay? Uh, that is... It, it looks like it's something very, very foreign uh, to us as traders, nothing we're accustomed to, okay? Um, but it's actually very simple and, and objective market data, okay? And I'll demo it here by starting with putting on candlesticks and turning off all these other areas of uh, information, okay? And let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, it's a five-minute candlestick chart, and that's all we're looking at here. Uh, and we can see the, the very quick move to, to the downside at the uh, open here, 930, okay? and we see a reversal, right? Uh, and, um, and we come right back up uh, and above the highs here, but we're right back down into the range now from the overnight session, okay? So a little bit of back and forth right now. Uh, and um, uh, the problem here that... Uh, I mean, candlesticks, uh, you know, we're very accustomed to bars uh, and candlesticks. But the problem is that uh, they're, they're only showing you data of open high, low close of a five-minute period, right? There's all sorts of information we really, truly need here to make a much more informed trading decisions. Uh, for example, where are the transactions? Okay. Where did they take place? Okay. What type of transactions were they? Okay, we're just talking about the aggressor here, about the volume. Uh, was it market buy or market sell? Uh, where did it take place, uh, and um, and how much how much traded? Okay, that kind of insight is completely lost here, uh, and um, 
uh, not only that, uh, what's also lost here in this candle is we have we have just a, a body and wicks here on a candlestick. Okay, we have no understanding of microstructure here. Okay, because it's a bar that rotates back and forth in, in a period, and it gives you the overall of that period. Okay, uh, we're going to show here that just looking at historical best bid and offer allows a lot of insight. Okay, and it, it truly does. Okay, because we can see here looking at the candlestick, if I just zoom in here, okay, we, we start to note different patterns that are taking place. Okay, look at this move to the downside here. Okay, we see uh, there's a candlestick pattern here, and, and you close above the uh, uh, the low here, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a swing down below the low, but a close above the um, or at the uh, uh, top of the wick here, and that's looking pretty bullish. Okay, but look at the microstructure. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit more. We're starting to note a reversal pattern. Beautiful little head and shoulders right here. Okay, shoulder, head, shoulder. We're going to see the order flow shift here, all right? And we're going to understand uh, this, the, the uh, uh, price action uh, in, this, um, uh, in this pattern here uh, and start to understand that uh, um, buyers are coming in and they're starting to take control of the market, okay? So just the microstructure here is giving us some pretty good insight uh, already. All right, so um, uh, let's turn on the uh, the volume dots. Okay, and uh, now I'm showing historical best bid and offer, and I'm showing the transactions, okay, where they took place. All right, and um, uh, yeah, we can we can very clearly uh, see here, uh, and let me uh, make these dots a little, a little bit a uh, little bit smaller. All right, there we go. Okay, well, we can see here, look at how they're driving price down lower, okay, the aggressor, okay, look at all of the red dots here, okay, there's some, some buying in here as well, but uh, most of it is aggressive selling. This is what we always see in a downtrend, okay, and uh, we still see it down here actually, okay, so this, this is going to be pretty nice trap for a lot of the sellers, they're going to be involved here on the sell side, uh, and um, uh, then... Uh, uh, you can uh, you can see where the uh, the buyers step in right here. Okay, we're noticing a shift in the order flow right here. Okay, now we we still may get um, one more test uh, to the downside here and see if there are any more sellers, but we didn't we didn't here. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the sellers start to drive it down here, but uh, right into where uh, the buyers initiated buying right here. Okay, and uh, so we get a retest there, right? And then there's no more selling. Uh, price kind of floats back up into this area here, and then we can see the aggressor on the buy side starts to, to lift the offer, all right? We come up to this swing here. We go sideways for a bit, and the aggressive uh, buyer starts to take control here, and really uh, here is where they're, they're dominating, okay? So uh, uh, buyers are certainly in control at this point. All right, but you can see the shift here in the order flow. All right, and that's just by looking at where the volume actually traded. Okay, so let's zoom into that area. Um, let's zoom into uh, let's look, zoom into the the bottom, the swing here. Okay, uh, and uh, this is actually one of the patterns that uh, I mean, it, it just happens again and again. This is just how it works. Okay, we actually see uh, even in this little structure here. Look at this little. Um, uh, micro uh, head and shoulders here, okay, or at least you know three three kind of tests at the bottom here, okay. I mean one this is a shoulder, this is a head, and this is a shoulder, but uh, it's pretty pretty equal to the head here, all right. Uh, and um, another example of micro structure here, it's broken, okay, and the buyers start to step in, and this little structure is broken now too. All right, and uh, this is what a book map is going to allow you to do is to, is to understand the, that uh, uh, the buyers are in control or they start to take control here. All right, uh, and um, uh, it trades outside of this little microstructure right here, okay, and price accepts. 
and it continues to the upside. And the order flow is shifted. Now let me just zoom in a little bit further. And I just want to show you just very, very simple stuff here. All right? This is just historical best bid and offer. That's that's all this is. Uh, best bid is the green line. Best offer is the uh, the red line. You now you can see the transactions that took place here on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, these red dots, these are market sells. Okay, someone hit the market sell button. They took liquidity off of the best bid, uh, and a, a red dot is uh, uh, painted onto the uh, on the best bid here. We can use the data tip tool to roll over and see exactly what traded here. We see that uh, volume of two and volume of three here. Okay, and at this same level, actually, we can see that the, there was another uh, trade that took place, and this is an aggressive market buy. Okay, and this, and you can see that the the best bid and offer it shifted right here. Okay, so let's zoom in here a little bit closer because here's what really occurred. Okay, you note how we're down here at uh, microsecond level, so millions of seconds, and we can note uh, the, what what really occurred here uh, and how the best bid and offer also uh, uh, flipped here or went went uh, a tick higher. So this is your aggressive market buy that that took place on the on the uh, best offer, okay, volume of one and volume of one, okay. So in our, our uh, volume uh, uh, profile over here says two, okay. So we know exactly what traded. But as I zoom back out, we visually aggregate this information together and we give you the overall understanding by the size of the dot, and you can still hover over this dot. Uh, and you can see this is for a volume of 167 contracts. Okay. We can also see that um, uh, the, uh, the the volume dot is uh, a pie display, like these pie displays over here. So what's occurring there is there's bo both buying and selling, and a lot of it very very quickly. So to give you that overall sense of uh, the aggressor, we, we give it to you in this pie display. Uh, and uh, and it gives you a good good insight to the number of buyers and sellers. Okay, so that's the the, the traded volume uh, in Bookmap. And um, there's another piece here though uh, that's really important, uh, and that is the auction. Okay, and that's completely lacking uh, for most of us. We we've, we've never really seen the uh, uh, the auction except through the dome. Okay, the depth of market. So let's zoom into current price right now. And um, this is the dome in book map right here. Okay. The current order book. Okay. In this column. Uh, we have another current order book here. It's uh, uh, formatted as just bars. So it's a graphical representation of the uh, liquidity here. And uh, this is the current state of the market. Okay. Best bid and offer right here. Uh, at 04, it's in this window as well, best bid and offer, and last traded volume is this number. Uh, and then we see the liquidity here, the depth uh, of the uh, of the liquidity at these price levels. These are sellers up here offering. Okay, They want to be sellers, but they're waiting. They're at these specific price levels to deal. Okay, They're down here on the bid at these levels. Okay, They want to be buyers. And you can see these numbers are always changing. Okay, So that's the auction that is changing. Liquidity is being added and pulled all day long. So the dome gives good insight here uh, to the current state of the market. The problem with the dome, though, is the current state, uh, it, it, once once these numbers change, these values change, th then that's the new current state. But we don't know the historical state. So we don't know uh, at like 63.05, was there a lot of in interest there previously? You'd have to remember all of that. You'd also have to remember were they bidding or offering in front of it or behind it? Uh, what about on the bid? Were they getting aggressive on this side? So do we sh see shifts in that uh, order book and the order flow? Uh, the, all of these questions here, are, it's a lot to try to um, remember uh, in your head. Uh, that That's the problem here with the, with the current order book. So Bookmap solves that issue with the heat map. Okay, so we take these numbers, these values here, and with the best bid and offer, the current state here in the market, we give these um, uh, numeric values here graphical representation with the heat map. Okay, now and you can see that it, we see the grayscale changing. 
Okay, that is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, now where this gets really interesting is we take this data and it's projected on the chart historically. So that's all we're looking at here is in, in this heat map, in this data, is the historical auction. Okay, it's, what happen, what's ha, it's what's happening outside of current price. And we can see here at 6305, uh, they were interested here earlier, and then they, they pulled, they added back in, they uh, they pulled here and they added back in, et cetera. Okay, so you can start to gauge their intent uh, to trade at some of these levels, right? Uh, and that's what the book map is, uh, is displaying here for you, okay? So if we zoom out, now we're, we're able to uh, extrapolate the data from the dome and actually get a lot more information uh, and understanding of the auction um, at a, a much higher um, a time frame. Okay? And we can adjust the book here too, um, you know, the cutoff uh, to, to target just, you know, higher liquidity, areas of higher liquidity. Okay? What are the larger players doing? Okay? And, and, and we can start to note it here, okay? I right, mean, that's a little too much. Okay, but look at these pockets of liquidity. Look at this behavior here on our head and shoulders pattern. Okay, this is another head and shoulders here. Um, and uh, look at how they're bidding up here, okay? And there's a lot of depth to the bid here, all right? So they're, 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 they wanna buy at a higher level. Okay, and that's pretty bullish. And we can see the reaction that uh, that occurred here. Uh, and uh, we're coming up to test, uh, looks like 60, that 6305 area that we were just noting. Okay, because the market knows it, that there's liquidity there. It, it's, it's attracted to liquidity. Okay, we're also seeing a little bit of spoofing activity just in this view. Uh, potentially spoofing right in this little area here at 04. Trying to press price down lower, okay? Uh, but these traders, and let's zoom into this area, note how this little block of liquidity here, it's a couple of ticks, um, they jump in really quickly with high liquidity, it skews the auction, okay, price reacts to it and goes uh, down to the downside here, uh, and, then, um, uh, and then they're out of the market really quickly. Okay, and the market floats back up, and we just tested into the 6305, and that's what we were just looking for. Okay, uh, so uh, this this we can start to also uh, put together and make distinctions of the liquidity types. Okay, their intent to trade here. Okay, this this is like spoofing type of activity. Okay, it skews the auction. We see the reaction, uh, and um, uh, they're getting filled or maybe getting out of their positions in some of these lower levels or running the stops, uh, and then uh, and then getting in or you know their targets are still up here in these areas and they're getting there. Uh, no, no question about it. All right. So anyway, uh, that's what um, uh, we're looking at here. Uh, and we can start to now extrapolate that dome uh, depth of market data on higher time frames and really start to piece together what's going on in the market. Okay. So let's take off the candlestick. Okay. And now we have a good understanding of the overall uh, what book map is showing us here. Okay, look at the uh, high liquidity that came in uh, at the beginning of the day, uh, 9.30 here. We see that, uh, well, there was high liquidity here, okay, in the market previously. Uh, and uh, we came right up into it at the at the 9.30 open, right? Uh, we got a retest of it here. They jumped in again in these areas up above. Uh, and uh, where did we go? Okay, we see high liquidity on the uh, on the bid down here. We went right to it, and we actually traded through that one. No, no question about it. Uh, and um, uh, and then looking at just uh, higher areas here, we can also see here at at, at 13, 6313. Okay, uh, there's a, a lot of liquidity up here, right? And they're still here, and they're adding into the book in the last like uh, 15 minutes. Okay, this is giving us a lot of insight. Okay, and uh, we can note that. Okay, and then we can start, start to zoom in here and start to understand uh, current uh, situation, okay, and, and, and just the uh, recent uh, historical uh, data that we see here, okay. Here's our, our spoofing type of action uh, that we were just noting, okay. 
interesting stuff here. Um, you know, this is the, the same player, uh, high liquidity here, here, and here. Um, because as soon as they uh, pull that liquidity, they're actually um, uh, offering a, a, a few ticks higher here. Okay, Probably the same player up here as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, once you start to understand and get a feel for what book map is displaying, you're going to start to get an understanding of the players uh, and their behavior. Uh, and that's going to lead to an advantage for you. Uh, because uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see this. It would be really disguised and really tough to, to read in the uh, limit order book over here. All right. Well, anyway, uh, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, let's let's call it a day. And uh, for those of you who are in the advanced, um, uh, well, in uh, in trial, the book map trial, or uh, current customers, then uh, I'll see you over in the advanced webinar in just a few minutes. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming. Bye bye.